ocean is a place of pure majesty. An abundance of plants and marine animals crawl the ocean floor. And on World Oceans Day, Tyler and Siobhan will be celebrating the wonders of the ocean and just how we can keep it that way. Tyler, is that the David Attenborough voice again? We did that last week for World Environment Day. Oh, that's right, you did. But he's so cool. He does great nature documentaries and fills animals on the land and animals under the sea. That's true. It is a great voice. Oh. But I think we need some new content, Tyler. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, what did you get up to with your nature exploration bag and binoculars? Well, with my binoculars from last week, I went up the mountain near my house and I saw a lizard. You saw a lizard? Yeah. Oh, that That's sounds really, really cool. <gasps> Hello, Amy. Hey, Amy, how are you? <sighs> Glad oh. that some play actors with us today. Yeah. Well, if I can't do my David Attenborough voice, mm. who am I going to be, Siobhan? Tyler, just be yourself. Oh, thanks, Siobhan. Yeah. I think I might do that. Good. Well, hello again, play -uppers. My name's Siobhan. And my name's Tyler. And while the Museum of Australian Democracy at Old Parliament House is closed, we're going to be bringing play -up to you on air, live, <gasps> via Facebook and Instagram. True. And play -up is our interactive children's exhibition where we have lots of fun learning about children's rights. Mm, and a right is something that every child should have or be able to do. Exactly. Every child in every country should have the right to feel safe, to be cared for, the right to education, and to have lots of playtime. Lots of playtime. And they also have the right to have plenty of food, mm -hmm. and also clean water, mm -hmm. and access to medicine. Exactly. And what about last week, Tyler? Oh, well, last week we celebrated World Environment Day. And you can check that out on our website at moadoph.gov.au forward slash families. And tonight at 7.30 to 8.30, <gasps> what's yeah, going to be going on, Siobhan? we nearly forgot about the Play Up community, our special Facebook group for the Play Up community. Yeah, Brooke's going to be on there talking craft with you. So get on there, it sounds like a lot of fun. It will be fun. Now before we begin, <laughs> yes. we've got a picture from last, last week's craft. Week. This is from James and Cameron. They've done some bags with some binoculars. <gasps> they look very creative. And they've set themselves a challenge to find <gasps> some different things in their environment. So they wanted to find a cockatoo, a leaf, a book about dogs, Ooh. a rock. Wow, and you can see some of those things on the front. Thanks for sending that in, James yeah, and Cameron. Yeah, thank you. I wonder if they found those things. Mm. Mm. Well, what are we doing this week? Well, this week we are celebrating World Oceans Day. <gasps> World Oceans Day. <gasps> We're going to be making jellyfish and maybe an octopus. Mm, some tentacled sea creatures. Mm. But before we begin, it's really important that we acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people of Australia. Exactly. You can do it with us. Put your hands up. Yep. Together, we touch the ground of the land. And together, we reach for the sky that covers the land. And we touch our hearts and care for the land. Okay, and there's something else really important we need to do. There is. We need to wash our hands. <gasps> so you have time to run to the sink and use some soap and water, but we're going to use our magic soap like always. It's magic because you don't even need water to wash it off. And we're going to sing the song. Okay, you ready, Tyler? Let's go. If you're crafting and you know it, wash your hands, scrub, scrub. If you're crafting and you know it, wash your hands, splish, splish. If you're crafting and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're crafting and you know it, wash your hands, scrub, scrub, splish, splish. Sploosh. Yay, look how clean they are. Woo, so clean. Okay, guys, play uppers, we are celebrating World Oceans Day. Yep. Jellyfish. Octopuses, tentacle creatures. So what are we going to need? We are going to need some recycled materials for our jellyfish and octopus. Mm -hmm. So you might like to use some egg cartons or a plastic container or a box. 
mm. or a plastic cup. Yeah, lots of different things you might find in the recycling bin. And it's really cool and important to reuse things like that so they don't end up as waste or get into the ocean. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Mm. So we're also going to use some plastic bags. Yeah. And if you check out our family guide on moadoph.gov.au forward slash families, you'll find a very special guide on how to make plants. Plan. Big long strips of plastic out of plastic bags, great for tentacles. Mm, exactly. We're also going to use some other things for our tentacles. We're going to use some cellophane <gasps> or maybe just some coloured paper, yeah. some streamers. And of course, all your crafting essentials. So we're going to need some crowns, textures, some sticky tape or some glue, mm, and scissors. But if you're using them, be a little bit careful. Exactly. Ask for help if you need it. Okay. All right. How do we start? Well, step one, we're going to make the body of our animal. Mm. So a good idea is to pick maybe the biggest piece of recycling you have. Yeah. I've found this plastic container and I'm going to make a jellyfish. Oh, sounds good. Well, did you know, Tyler, that jellyfish, they don't have any eyes. They don't have any brain. They don't have any heart. And they definitely don't have any bones. <laughs> and some deep down in the ocean <gasps> even glow in the dark. Wow. Yeah, jellyfish can be all different colours and shapes and sizes. So it doesn't matter if your jellyfish is a bit different to mine. No. Mm, and they can even be see-through. Exactly. So I think, mm, I found this cup. And I think I'm going to use it to make an octopus. That's mm. a great idea. All right, so now that we've got our bodies, let's do a little bit of decorating on them. Yeah. I'm just going to get some paper and rip it into little bits before I stick it all over my jellyfish. Good idea. So I've got this cellophane, which is coloured plastic that's a bit see-through, and I'm just going to rip it into little bits and glue it onto my plastic mm. cup so it's a bit colourful. Now, you might like to cut yours into little shapes with the scissors, maybe squares or circles, but it's okay just to rip it up like we have to. Yeah, I don't even need scissors. Mm, so I'm just sticking that on. Now, Siobhan, I can already start to see why World Oceans Day might be really important. Well, I'm glad you can see why it's important <laughs> because the ocean are the large parts of salt water, the big blue parts that cover our planet. They cover 70% of the entire earth. 70%? Yeah. That's more ocean than there is land. Yeah. More than half. More than half, a bit more than half. Mm. And most of the parts of the ocean, especially the very deep parts, haven't even been explored. No one's been there. Oh, wow. I know. That's super cool. Down in the deep, dark sea, and we mean really deep. Really it's deep. deeper than the tallest mountains on land. The deepest part is called the Mariana Trench. Mm. There's volcanoes under there. But like Siobhan said, there's a lot of mystery. We actually yes. don't know what's down there. We don't. Mm, do you think you know what's down there, Tyler? I'm not sure. Scientists did used to think that there were no animals down there. But now we know there are creatures down there. Mm, what do you think's down there, play uppers? Yeah. Send us your ideas on Facebook or Instagram. And also, you can chat with Brooke about it tonight at 7.30 on the Facebook community. I bet you she knows what's down there. Oh, she might. So what do you think's there, Saron? Mm, I think there's a big megalodon. The megalodon. The megalodon. <gasps> which is like a prehistoric shark. It's pretty big. Oh. What do you think's down there, Tyler? Oh, I'm not sure. It could be anything. Anything. How's your decorating going? It's going good. I'm just covering my cup in cellophane so it looks very colourful. Oh, and I've just put a whole lot of little green bits on mine. Oh. Now, jellyfish like the one I'm making don't actually have eyes. So I might just do some extra colouring and decorating on mine. Okay, I'm just well. Get a crown and draw on there. Good idea. Well, mine is all covered, but octopus do have eyes. So I think I'm going to put some eyes on mine and I'm going to use hmm, these egg carton bits for eyes. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my egg carton and I'm going to colour in the middle a bit blue like this one 
and two, so it looks a bit like an eye. Yeah. And, and then I'm just going to sticky tape them on the front. Looks like that. Wow. And octopuses are super smart, aren't they? They are smart. Lots of aquariums have tales about how they try to escape their tanks. <gasps> escape? I guess you could call them escaped-a-pusses. <gasps> and I think producer Bridget has asked us a question. What if we miss a craft step, Tyler? Well, if we miss a craft step, you can just jump on our website, moadoph.gov.au forward slash families and watch all our old craft videos and find our family guide. Super important, super exactly. fun. Exactly, okay, I'm sticky taping my eyes on. Mm. And Siobhan? Yeah? The ocean's actually really important for humans, isn't it? It is. Humans depend on the ocean for a lot of our food. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> Seafood. <gasps> I love fish fingers. Fish fingers. Yum. But I don't know if they're the best example of seafood, are they, Tyler? Oh, you might be right. <gasps> My eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to fix that. I'll make sure it's stuck on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think you might be right. I actually don't know how much fish is in fish fingers, but there is tuna and salmon. They both come from the ocean. We talked about that with Jess and Naomi on. World Tuna Day. That is true. And that was so much fun. It was. And you know, in lots of places around the world, if they didn't have food from the ocean, they wouldn't have enough to eat. And I think the ocean also helps us with the air that we breathe. It creates oxygen so that we can breathe. Yeah. Oxygen is a really important part of the air. It's made by little plants in the ocean, exactly. which suck the bad stuff out of the air and put oxygen in it. So we literally need the ocean to breathe. <gasps> Thank, Thank you, ocean. ocean. But it also helps us with the food that we eat. It gives us food. So Thank, Thank you, ocean. ocean. What about water? <gasps> well, you can't drink the water straight from the sea. It's way too salty. Oh, like the salt you might find next to the pepper on the table? Exactly. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Ocean. Ah, oh, that All is right. fantastic. Oh, and Sam on Instagram loves fish fingers. Everybody loves fish fingers. Yeah. Yum. Oh, that is so cool. That is cool. All right, how's your decorating go? It's oh. good. I've got my eyes. Yeah. Can you see that? I've got it all covered in cellophane, so it's all colourful, and I've got my eyes stuck on. And I just How's thought of yours? one more thing I love from the ocean, Siobhan. What? The sound of the waves. <gasps> oh, let me see if I can help you with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so back Is to the octopus, me? Siobhan. <laughs> that was lovely. Thank you. All right, so I've got my jellyfish all decorated up. Oh, it looks beautiful. And you've got your eyes on there. I do. I have my octopus body. Hmm. So uh, what do we need next? I think we need some tentacles. Ooh, some tentacles. Mm. All right. How are you going to make your tentacles? Jill? Well, I'm going to use these streamers. What colour should I use, Tyler? Mm. Mm. Maybe orange. Ooh, orange mm. streamers. Um, well, I'm going to make my streamers out of a plastic bag. And remember, if you head on to our family guide on our website, you can find some instructions on how to make plan, plan. plastic yarn. Yeah. And it will make some really long tentacles. Really but long. But for today, I'm just going to cut up some strips out of this bag. So I'll show you how I do that. Mm. So you just get your scissors and we start at the bottom of oh. the bag and cut all the way to the top. Lost my scissors. Oh, you dropped your scissors. Oh, oh no. Scissors. Oh, no. And I'm going to do something very similar. I'm just going to get my streamer and then I'm going to cut eight <coughs> tentacles. Because octo in octopus means eight. So I'm going to make eight tentacles. And I think I'm going to make tentacles. <gasps> Ten tentacles. Oh, that is clever, Tyler. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just cutting out my tentacles. Cutting out my tentacles. Oh, wow. And there sure are lots of animals that call the ocean home, aren't oh, there? Oh, so many. There's really big ones and really teeny tiny ones. Yeah, like <gasps> sea turtles. Sea turtles. And what about a squid? Oh, a squid or a sea slug. 
through slogs. Through slogs. Have you ever been snorkeling, Tyler? I have. Oh, good. Wow, look at this. And when I went snorkeling, I saw all the beautiful oh. coral. Oh, wow. <gasps> but I didn't touch it. Because if you touch coral and animals in the ocean, you might hurt them. Yeah. And also, they might sting you. Exactly. So we just have a look and then we say, thank you, ocean. Thank you, ocean. You're so beautiful. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six, seven. Eight. I need two more. Oh, I'm going to show you how I'm cutting another strip. So we just start at the bottom and we go snip, snip, snip all the way to the top and snip across. Okay. All right. I've got my eight tentacles. So now I think we need to decorate them, Tyler. Oh, so that they look a bit like a more like tentacles. So I've got a special trick for my streamers. Yeah. I grab a little bit like this and I go down and then I twist like this and I go down a little bit further and I twist again so they look a little bit like octopus legs tentacles that looks great we also used that on some of our seaweed we did <gasps> Pam, Pam on, on Facebook. Facebook she loves turtles oh wow Pam I, I love, love turtles too have you seen Siobhan's turtle earrings I'm wearing earrings? some turtles today oh fantastic turtle earrings <laughs> all right well I've cut Four. I know I said I was going to do ten, but <laughs> I got a little bit tired. Mm. Mm. So I just did four. And now to decorate, I'm going to do something a lot like what I did on my jellyfish. I'm just going to get a little piece of paper and I'm going to rip little parts off and stick them onto the tentacles. <gasps> Good idea. Yeah. And you might not have any coloured paper. You could just colour in your plastic bag with some crayons or some textures. Mm, you might also like to tie things on to the tentacles, mm. like bits of ribbon, um, paper. You could find other recycled bits to tie on. What about a shoelace? A shoelace. <gasps> if you are using a shoelace, though, remember to put it back at the end. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Well, like we said before, there's lots of animals in the ocean, there isn't there? Is. There's big ones and there's very small ones, but a really big one is the blue whale. The blue whale. It is the biggest Just animal ever. ever. It's so big that its tongue weighs as much as an elephant. <laughs> That is really, really big. It is. And did you know that not only are they the biggest animal ever, they're also the loudest animal on the planet. They're louder than a jet engine. Oh my gosh. And they can sing to each other right across the ocean. <gasps> it's amazing. Wow. I can actually speak whale. <gasps> well, that's lucky because so can I, Tyler. <gasps> Would you like to speak whale? I think we should speak some whale. Hello, player birds. How are you today? Oh, wow. We are very good at speaking whale. <laughs> we are. And I bet our play up is a great at speaking whale. Maybe you could. Show us how good you are at speaking whale. We might need a few tips. We might. You could chat with uh, Brooke about it on the Play Up Community 7.30 Wonder tonight. Wonder if Brooke speaks whale. I bet Brooke could speak whale. She can probably She's speak very whale. Clever. She is really clever. All right. Well, my tentacles are pretty much all decorated, Tyler. Yeah, mine too. And I was just thinking about the blue whale. Yeah. It's actually endangered. Oh, that's true. Which means there aren't lots of them left. So we have to look after them. And there's lots of other animals that are endangered too, like the turtles we were talking about before, and some types of dolphin and sharks. And even the super cool coral. And that's yeah. why it's really important that we make sure we're looking after the ocean, because the ocean is lots of plants and animals' home. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. All right. Tentacle. Tentacle time. <laughs> oh, look, Anna learnt about the vampire squid. Oh. It sounds scary, but it looks like it's wearing a cape. <gasps> wow. I think we need to check that out, Tyler. That does sound super interesting. It I does. love wearing a cape. I love wearing a cape too. I think like the 
the vampire squid. The ocean is so cool. I it bet there's so all cool. kinds of animals with capes deep down in the dark, unexplored deep ocean. Down in the ocean. It's a bit like the underside of my bed, Siobhan. <laughs> Uncharted <laughs> territory. <laughs> mm. All right, so we've got our tentacles. Yes, we need to attach them to we our bodies. Do. All right, okay. so how are you going to attach your tentacles? Well, I'm just going to use some sticky tape. So I'm going to place the bi tentacle on the inside of my octopus body. Mm. And then I'm going to just get some, a little bit of sticky tape and stick it in there. Can be a bit tricky. Can. I'm doing very much the same. So I've got a strip of sticky tape across the top and I'm just going to stick it. Oh, I want to show you my beautiful decoration. So I'm going to stick it underneath Ooh. there. So it's like a tentacle. <gasps> a tentacle. <gasps> ah! It stings me! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we don't touch things in the ocean because sometimes they sting or they we might do. hurt them. Yeah, we don't want to hurt the animals in the ocean. We just want to have a little look. <gasps> Look! Happy birthday, Sophia. It's who Sophia's first one. birthday! Wow. Happy birthday, Sophia! Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to we maybe we could sing happy birthday in Wales. That's exactly happy what I was thinking. Happy birthday, birthday Sophia. Sophia. <gasps> Do you think they heard that across the ocean? I think some whales might have heard that one. Oh. That's looking great. Okay. Now, how is your craft going at home, Play Uppers? Remember, you can send it in on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. Or chat with Brooke about it tonight. We definitely want to see those sea creatures that you're making. Oh, I bet they're so cool. They'll be so cool, Tyler. Mm. All right. I'm okay. just sticking my tentacles sticking, in. Sticking. It's very tricky. So another trick you might be able to do, if it's a bit tricky to stick in there, is put the sticky tape on before you try and put it in your body. So put the sticky tape on like that, mm. and then you just pop it in there like that. Done. Done. So much easier. Oh, wow. That is really cool. It is. And did you know that although the ocean is really important for humans, and really important for animals, <laughs> and the whole world, we don't always look after it as well as we could. No, and me and Rose were talking about this last week for World Environment Day. We were talking about how rubbish and waste gets into the ocean. Sometimes it falls off cargo boats. <laughs> and then sometimes oil from those boats gets into the ocean. Oh, that's not good, is it? No. And sometimes if rubbish is actually left on the beach, it gets washed into the sea. Exactly. And you don't even need to live near the beach for your rubbish to get into the ocean. No. No. It can get washed all the way down there, can't it? Because it can get into the wind and it can blow all the way to the sea, or it could get into a river and then be washed out to sea. Yeah. Mm. So that means even my rubbish in play up could go all the way to the ocean. I know. That's exactly. Like super important to recycle and make sure to put things in the recycling or the bin rather than just leaving them. Exactly. And you know what looks a little bit like a <gasps> jellyfish? Yeah. Oh. A plastic bag. This plastic bag. That looks just like a jellyfish. And do you know who loves to eat jellyfish? <gasps> this tuna. Oh, oh, he's a big one. It's Monet. Oh, Monet the tuna. <gasps> if oh. he eats the plastic, oh, and then we eat the tuna. <laughs> That couldn't be good for us either. No, so that's why it's really important we don't let lots of plastic get in the ocean because then it, it makes the animals sick and it can also make us not very well either. Exactly. Oh, oh. oh don't worry, we fixed Mornay, it's okay. Right, bye, bye. Wow, okay, okay. So how are we going? I might good. attach another sneaky tentacle onto mine. Oh, okay, well, we are up to putting handles on the top are we i think we might be i think we might be <laughs> okay how will we do that well first you're going to need a piece of string or i'm just going to use a little bit of paper Ooh. and i think we can make a handle on the top so that our jellyfish octopus can splay through the ocean Ooh. all right so to make mine i'm doing something very similar to what i did with the plastic bags mm -hmm. I'm just going to cut out some strips. 
good idea. Well, I think we've got this really nice ribbon here. So I think I'm going to sticky tape my ribbon on one side and stick it on the other side so it looks a bit like a handle. And if it's a bit long, you might need to chop it. That is a really cool idea. Mm, might need some different scissors. <laughs> Chopping. Chopping. All right, so I've, I've just used a bit of paper oh, and no. one bit wasn't long enough. So I'm just going to stick two pieces together. Good idea. Go. So I've got my piece of ribbon and I'm going to sticky tape it on one side of the top of my octopus like this. Stick it down there and then I'll sticky tape the other side and make sure there's a mountain for your hand to fit through. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Well, I've just stuck my two pieces of paper together and then I folded the bottom a little bit so I can put it on the top and hopefully just stick it straight on. Oh. Like this. <gasps> oh. That looks amazing, it Tyler. Does. No, and Tyler, there are some people who are creating great things to help protect the ocean. Yeah. Great ways to help protect the ocean. And I think we should think of three. Three. Okay, ocean protection number one sustainable fishing so sustainable oh, fishing is where when we're fishing we don't fish too many fish so they can make baby fish Good so idea. that there's always going to be fish exactly and number two is inventions some people are inventing amazing things to help protect the ocean like two surfers in australia who invented the Sea bin, the sea bin. Which is a bucket that sits in the ocean and it sucks up rubbish all by itself. And number three, recycling and making sure we pick up our rubbish yeah. so that it doesn't blow into the sea. And that's one you can all do at home and that we really try to do at Play Up and we use our recycled materials. Yeah. So how's yours looking, Siobhan? It's looking pretty good. <laughs> What's that sound? Oh. It's, is it the ocean? It could be the ocean. <gasps> or it could be Annabelle, Annabelle. Isla, Odie, Ayla, Joseph, and Charlotte. Charlotte. And they're all watching us. <gasps> I think they're all watching. Maybe that's them I can hear. Uh, oh, it sounds oh. a bit like waves. Oh, I, I think it's the ocean. <gasps> it's the ocean calling. So it might be just about time for us to pack up. Uh, if you're not finished crafting, that's okay. You might like to make some more recycled ocean animals. You could make a blue whale. Or a turtle. A turtle. But when you're finished, do help to pack up. And don't forget our Play Up community Facebook group. And chat to Brooke tonight at 7.30. Mm. She'll have great ideas about sea creatures you could make. And remember to check out our family guide on moadoph.gov.au forward slash families and exactly. tune in next week for World, World Refugee, Refugee Day. Day. Wow. Sounds All pretty right. good. Well, we'll see you next time. Yeah, me. let's swim off. Let's swim off. Oh. Let's explore these corals. Do you want to hear a joke about the ocean? Yes. Why did the ocean blush? Why? Because the seaweed. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my octopus is too low.